on May 21st, 2014, only a few days after the Swiss pleaded guilty uh, in front of a, um, a US court for uh, theft, lies and um, conspiracy, the Swiss Supreme Court decided that the Nazi salute is allowed again in Switzerland due to the high demand and its local popularity in the Alps. They don't know what they want. One year it's forbidden, the next year it's allowed, one year the arm is down, the next year it's up. Altogether leading to that famous movement by this annual fluctuation, up, down, up, down, Sieg, Heil, Sieg, Heil, up, down. Just like in the good old days in Nuremberg by the Swiss fifth column and thus the Swiss Justice Department equally adding up to that famous Nazi rhythm, up, down, up, down, Sieg, Heil, allowed, not allowed. But the Swissies know very well what they want, but they don't want the whole world to see it, because it could be bad for big business. But as they voted against the EU again this year, and they plead guilty of theft, lies and conspiracy in front of a US court concerning the Swiss banks, big Swissy business is already on the decline. So you can read the whole article. Punch pause. There was in uh, in the mail online. I'll put in the links for you. And uh, that says mail online. So they made the Nazi salute official now, turning Switzerland into a paradise for goose tappers. Probably attracting all international goose tappers as well with a free Swiss bank account with 88 Swiss francs on it. The only good thing is they're easier to count, so nobody has to ask. All Nazis please raise their hands, cause they all do it by themselves without asking them politely. Sick hail, and sick it is indeed. I've been telling you all the time that the Swiss have a Nazi justice department, and here we can see it happening in front of our eyes. Swiss Supreme Court in favor of the Nazi salute and Hitler's ideology. Well, what's next, hey? The uh, Swiss favorite place to practice the Nazi salute is on the holy grounds of the Rütli in the Swiss Alps, the very place Switzerland was founded by the Templars and those three men on August the 1st, 1291. Only two and a half months after the Crusades when they came back to found their utopia in the Swiss Alps, now showing the relation between the Templars and the Nazis of which I've been talking to you about all the time. A Nazi salute on the, the holy ground of the Templars. The Nazi Templars of Octogon, Switzerland. And here it's me, an uninvited immigrant sleeping rough on the holiest ground of Switzerland where the Templars' heritage performed the Nazi salute and me, the immigrant, snoring in the middle of that August 1st, 1291 Nazi Templar rudely. So this was long before I had my, uh, my video cam and before I discovered YouTube. Well, it seems we're heading for a thrilling summer here with lawlessness becoming legal and Nazism officially backed up by the Swiss courts. Well, they've never done anything else really with Swiss courts defending Swiss superiority silent laws and attacking immigrants with that Swiss Nazi judiciary. But now it has become official and in the open. Well, let it be quick and painless. <laughs>